So I'm going to, you know, kind of try to keep track of those. I had a couple alerts today, but nothing, there was not a lot to, to uh, really step up to, except if we do get something that we really like to step up to, I like to really put out an alert on it. I put out an alert and I put out a, um, let's see, that would be at 144. Was that 144? No, that's the after one. That was at 130. That was after that. And then it was 121. Probably the 121 zone. That one. Yeah. So here it is. Let's see what it looks like, what it sounded like. All right. We have a divergence 121 p.m. here at 121. Uh, we have a divergence at 5621. Stops need to go under 56. 19 where that spike low is on the right, NPS. Yeah. it's a running divergence a slight running divergence there all right oh. we're approaching a quad rotation cell signal here at 56 23 and a quarter 56 23 and a half it went i went higher than that a little overbought on all all uh stochastic bands we have the vwap right above us at 56 25 that's about two points ahead of us but you should also protect your profits up this level now all right, so that was kind of um, the setup. That's that's what we don't want. That's that's the key to making money is to not trade any time unless you have a really great setup. And and what if we define our setups again? If we define if we define the setup as you know a visual divergence that's you know you can't you know kind of tilt the monitor to get a better angle and stuff. It has to be in your face type of setup here, especially if it's in a little downward channel, which this was, um, this was actually, oops, let me get rid of that. Sorry about that. Um, there was a little channel here. I didn't even mark it off here, but right about, we were messing with the uh, consolidation here and we did a, a vote at this point, which way we we're going to go ones or twos. And actually it just, look at how it, it can't, it flushed that for a second and then put it in that reversal. And that's when we noticed it because it was like, well, twos didn't get it because we didn't close underneath that, can, uh, underneath the, um, we had to close the candle underneath the uh, box and we never did that. But that really pointed out that divergence there. And from that point on, it was game on. Um, and that's what you have to wait for. And there was one, there was one after that also. There was one here and that was a really nice one, even though it didn't give us a great, you know, amount of, you know, 10 points or anything like that. The market's going to give you what it's going to give you, all right? That's the, the name of the game, is to take, to be structured so much that you're taking profits, all right? You're not giving the market the time to give that back, you know, take that back. It, it could easily happen. Same thing here. It might be out too early, you know, but that's, you know, something you have to manage with your trailing stops, um, you know, multiple contracts. Make sure you have multiple contracts and you're at least take you know, could let your trade stay on with a trailing stop or a break even, uh, you know, stop. That's the worst. What's the worst thing that can happen? So, definitely recommend uh, when you have a divergence, you gotta give it more time. You gotta give it more time. Then we had a uh, little divergence here, and then look at this one here, another one right at uh, three thirty. And it was nice to low, and it was a nice high level divergence right there, and it was inside of a channel. We saw that. I did see that mile away because of the channel. And we said, well, we got in there, and it says it's going to break out of the channel. Nine times out of ten, this thing's going to break out of the channel. And now the new trend was up. This is starting to turn back up. So we just started to kind of line, you know, move all the way up here. But that was a perfect. So one, two, three qualifying divergences on the day. That's three trades. And then... Um, you could, you know, you have a, you have some flags here. You have, we called this flag early this morning. You could you could see the fast rotation hit the twenty. This was pointing down. I had it down. We just talked about it, the twenty. That's a bear flag again. Bear flag drop down. Uh, finally got a quad rotation back up. A little negative divergence here, back down. And overall, the pressure was down all day. So don't want to get too. Um, you know, don't overtrade too much trying to figure out the flags unless you have a really good trend. And you can see the downward trend on the 60, the fast rotation on the 20, then take the trade into it because at least you have that 20 overbought and the most likely you're going to get a little pullback. The hardest part of this whole system is taking profits. Um, very hard to sometimes take your, pro take your winnings off because you won't have a perfect entry and you might want to have more and you leave it on even though the stochastics wrote back, you know, rotate down fast and it says, uh, you know, it says, Danger, danger, you got what you got, get out. 
but you don't because you want more. And that's the killer of all traders. And myself too, you know, it's, it's hard to deal with that, you know. But sometimes you have a good day, uh, you're having a great day, so you decide to, you know, loosen up a little and kind of gamble a little. But that's not, that's gambling then. You, just, you know, that's exactly what that is. So perfect practice makes perfect. Um, not any, you know, not gambling or anything like that. You have to be, you know, serious in every time. And I know that's hard for me to uh, kind of say because I'll break, I, I break my rules too, you know. I want to, I want to gamble a bit. You know, you get boring. Oh, I got so these, you know, you have fun. I understand that. I'm not a saint. Um, I'm not a trading, <laughs> I'm not even a saint. What is a saint? I mean, I have my flaws. Um, I work on them though. But if I could if leave you anything with this video, is every time we go back and say, all right, nice divergence here, you have to give this thing more room to run. And if you're trading your prop accounts, this is where you have to probably switch over to the ES. You know, it's very easy to put your stop underneath that. Get on the trade alerts, the future trade alerts. Make sure you have that active, all right? That way you don't miss these. Make sure you get, you get that active so you don't miss them. That's my goal. It's not to, not to miss the, the money-making trades. Everything else is going to be we're goofing off, having fun. But when it gets down to something like this, I do not want to miss it. Because that's like found money. Found money. If we could identify it as it's happening, you can get in easy. It's an easy trade. And that's what we're here for. So that's, that's as simple as that. All right? Doesn't, we're not going to complicate anything. It's as simple as that. We have maybe a possible whip divergence here. We're all in. No, just kidding. All right, so that's the end of my video. Just to show you, there was three good setups today. That would have kept your trading down to three, and it would have been, you know, I don't know how you guys did today or whatever. Um, but it was a downward kind of trending market, so if you're trying to catch some longs, it was a bit more difficult, you know. It's, well, that's very important to recognize the overall trend. That was one of the latest videos it did, how to identify the trend. So if you haven't watched that video, Go to the YouTube channel. It's the latest video. All right. And if you're not if you're not uh, part of the DayTradingRadio.com and you want the uh, future trade alerts, head over to DayTradingRadio or head over to Patreon.com forward slash DayTradingRadio. So let's get this out of the way. Let's get back to trading now. <laughs> 